I'm actually an asexual flag today because okay. I'm white, black, purple, gray, stripy pants. Yes, I'm asexual today. An asexual flag. Hey guys, it's Elliot and it's Asexuality Awareness Week. <laughs> So my best friend in the whole wide world is asexual and I love her. She's the love of my life. And well, I just want to bring more awareness to her and her sexuality because she is valid. Though yes, asexuality is a real thing and it can happen to people who identify as males, as females, as non-binary, as gender fluid, as trans, whatever. Asexuality can be for anyone and it's not just something where you're like, hey, I want to be asexual today. Nah, just like being gay or being straight or being pan, whatever, asexuality is something that you are born as. Not everyone who is asexual is also aromantic. So that means that you might find people who or like, ooh, like, I would hang out with you for the rest of my life, but it doesn't mean that we're going to do the sex. Then, like, also, there are people who are asexual who do want to have the sex. It's kind of like, it's not just something that's like, oh, I cannot have sex. It's kind of like your choice. And most people who are asexual don't have sex, but there still are people who are asexual who have sex. Like me, I don't really like corn but every once in a while I'll have it. For people who are asexual, I don't know why I'm dancing. People who are asexual like don't have a reason for being asexual other than that they were born that way. It's not like, in my past I was raped and now I'm asexual because I can't fathom anything near me. No. Asexuality is just like, hello, I am born, wah wah, I am, the, I am, I don't want to have the sex. If you're an asexual person and you like all of a sudden have sex one day, that's not going to make you not asexual. You'll still be asexual because it doesn't change you. So don't think that that's what happens with asexual people because it's not. So there are people who are asexual who will still get married even though they'll like, that's just how they identify as. And that comes with the romantic side. So you might be, let's say, let's say I am a boy, which I am. Nah. And I like other boys, so then that would be I am homo-romantic, but I'd still have asexuality. There are a lot of people who are disabled who have asexuality, and they're not asexual because of their disability. They just happen to have both. There are also a lot of people who have mental illnesses who have asexuality, and their mental illness isn't what causes their asexuality. They might just happen to have depression or bipolar disorder, and they also just happen to have asexuality. And you're valid, and you're valid, and you're valid, and you're valid. You might hear the word ace when an asexual person is described. If a person is asexual, it doesn't mean that they're a plant having other plant babies. I'm a trans man and I support asexuals. Some people who are asexual might not celebrate it out and proud like other ones will. But hey, they're still valid too. Asexual people are allowed to be in pride parades. Just like everyone else. Allies are allowed to be in pride parades. That's okay. We need those people. They help vote for the things that help us. And we love them. Asexuality is not race exclusive, nor is it religiously. Hello? Alaska, the asexuality cat. She supports you and loves you. If you have anything else to say about asexual people and how awesome they are, you can leave it in the comments because we'd love to learn more about asexuality so we can educate people. Woo. Love your local ace person. Bye.